guys! I'm Teacher Jana and welcome back to my class. going to continue our series on decimal. So, itong mga lesson na ito ay mag-involve pa rin ng decimal. At for now, we are going to multiply. Okay? So, let's start! So, for those who are new to my channel, please, please don't forget to watch the previous video I made for this um, series. Yun yung pag-add at pag-subtract. Kung kayo ay nagsisimula pa lang sa pagre-review ninyo at nakalimutan nyo na itong mga bagay na ito, this is the perfect time for you to watch my videos para mag-guide kayo at mas maintindihan nyo pa yung mga susunod na lesson. Okay? So, the link is posted in the description box. So, hanapin nyo dyan. Bakit mahalagang alamin ang pagsasolve ng decimal? Sinabi ko na ito last video ko. This um, series of questions are common in any eligibility exams. Yun nga, ina-underestimate natin sila minsan, pero mahalaga sila to gain points. And syempre, ang pinaka-importante, dahil sila ay ginagamit sa worded problem. Paano mo nga ba malalaman kung multiplication? There are series or some of these terminologies para malaman mo kung multiplication ba. Syempre, yung sign ng multiplication, of course. When you say product, it means multiplication yung operation. Evaluate and the sign. And then, syempre, yung common na ginagamit natin ng multiply. How do you multiply decimals? There are four easy steps. Una, isin zone mo muna yung decimal points. I-ignore mo muna na parang ginagawa mo pag galit ka sa jowa mo kasi may oyot ka. <laughs> diba? You multiply as usual. ba? Diba? And count the decimal places. After you count the decimal places, you place the decimal with um, point from left to right. So, paano gawin ito? Gawin, let's try this first example. So, sabi dyan, di ba, isin zone muna natin. So, i-considered muna natin siya as 4, 45 times 25. As if wala pang decimal number. So, i-multiply natin sila 5 times 5. That's 25. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 2. That is 20. 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Siyempre, i-add na natin sila. 5, 2, and then 11. Paano nga ba mag-count ng decimal places, guys? Decimal places are the numbers or the count of the numbers after the decimal point. So, ito dito sa first number natin, may isang number. So, that's one decimal point. And then, sa baba ay may isa din. So, that's two decimal points. How do you place that? So, you have two decimal places. From the right, going to the left, dalawang beses ka rin ng urong. So, from here, 1, 2. Kaya, ang answer natin ay 11.25. Practicein muna natin kung paano mag-place or mag-bilang ng decimal places. Kagaya nito, 10.5 times 2.45. Bakit 3 decimal places siya? Isa, dalawa, tatlo. The numbers after the decimal point. So, sana malinaw yon. So, this one. 1. 1.006 times 2.02. .02. Isa, dalawa, tatlo. So, tatlo sa first digit natin. Sa pangalawa naman is 1 and 2. So, we have 5 decimal places. Dito tatlo. Sa third example natin, we have 1 decimal place only. Kasi yung 500 ay wala namang decimal point. So, wala din decimal place. So, we only have 1. Sa pang-apat na example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 decimal places. So, I hope you get that. Now, di ba kanina meron tayong 3, meron tayong 5, meron tayong um, 1, meron tayong 2, 4, 6, di ba? Paano ipi-place yan? Kagaya nito, 3, di ba? From right, 1, 2, 3. Tatlong beses tayo umurong from right bago natin nilagay yung decimal point. Kapag 5 naman from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bago nilagay yung decimal point. Pag isa lang, syempre, from here, 1. So, isa lang. Kapag 6 naman, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, bago natin sa ninagay. So, I hope malinaw yun. Here, let's try the other examples. Find, find the product 34.5 and 55.13. Siyempre, we have to answer it as if wala siyang decimal point. So, 3 times 5, that is 15. 3 times 4, 12, plus 1 is 13. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. 1 times 5, that is 5. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 3 is 3. Medyo malaki ang aking sulat. Diliitan ko lang. 5, 4, 3. Okay? And we have here, 5 times 5 is 25. Okay? 5 times 4 is 20 plus 2 is 22. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17. Okay? So, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 2 is 22. Okay? 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17 pa rin. Okay? And then we add up all these numbers. 5, bring down. Five, 3 plus 5 is 8. 0 plus 4 is 4 plus 5 is 9. 1 plus 3 is 4. Plus 2 is 6. Plus 5 is 11. 1 plus 7 is 8. Plus 2, that is 10. 2, 1, 2, and then 7. 2 plus 7 is 9. And then 1. Now, when we add up all these numbers already, kailangan na natin i-place yung decimal point. Now, bilangin natin yung decimal places nila. Isa, dalawa, tatlo. So, we have three decimal places. So, from the right, we move tatlong beses. 1, 2, 3. So, the answer is 1901 or 1901.985. That is the correct answer. Yeah. So, let's try naman this number. So, 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 5, 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. So, same lang din yan. 5 times 5. And then 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. The other is just the same then. It's 5. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 5 is 10. Right? 2 times 1 is 1. Plus 2, 1 is um, 3. 2 times 2 is 4. And then 2 times 1 is and we add all these numbers. Nakita nyo guys ha, every time na nagpapalit tayo ng digit, umuurong tayo dito sa baba. Pinapantay natin sa kanila. So don't also forget about that. So 5, 6, 2 plus 1 is 2, um, 3 plus 5 is 8. Okay. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 1 is 4. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 3 is 6. 1 plus 4 is 5, and then 2. So, how many decimal places do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, our final answer is 25.64865. And for our last example, common nina may kita ito sa PRB question. So, kung di nyo alam yun, nililink ko dito kung ano yung PRB. So, ito yun. So, 567,000 times 0.40. Okay? So, how do we multiply this? We consider it as just a whole number. So, 567,000 times 0.40 lang. Or 40 lang, rather. So, 0 times 0, 0. 0 times 0 is another 0. And then 0. Any number multiplied by 0 is 0. Practically 0. So, 4 times 0, 0, 0, and 0. 4 times 7, that is 28. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 2 is 26. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. And we all add the, all those up. 0, 0, 0, 0, 8, 6, 2, 2. And then we... We count the digits or the, the number of decimal places. Uh, the digits after the decimal point. So, since ang whole number ay walang decimal point, edi wala, zero siya. 
wala siyang decimal place. So, we have two decimal places from here. We move from right going to the left. One, two. So, the answer is 226,800. Okay, so I hope that helped you a lot from your decimal numbers or multiplying decimal numbers kasi magagamit niya talaga siya when it comes to worded problems only. And syempre, do not forget to comment kung ano man yung gusto ninyo pang i-discuss natin sa ating series of video. Mag-comment kayo kung ano yung mga gusto ninyong tanong na pwede kong sagutin sa next video ko. So, please don't forget to watch the other videos regarding this series. Siyempre, bibigyan ko kayo ng assignment bago tayo maghiwa-hiwalay. Ayan. I will answer everything on my next video. The part ng ating decimal series. Siyempre, sa mga dapat nating abangan sa susunod na videos ko, Division of Decimals, and of course, Worded Problems that Involve Decimals. Siyempre, tuturuan din natin kung paano kayo magsushortcut ng decimals. Abangan din ninyo yung mga quizzes natin. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel because we have a lot more to discuss. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next vlog.